Got one from Alienated TV. It says, I'm invisible. 50 year old supermodel. Boring right now. I am like so pathetic. I like to walk up and down the frozen food aisle with no bra on. It's funny, haha. I've been doing this for 20 years. What a loser. The first thing you have to understand about older women is that they are as horny as teenage boys. It's as simple as that. I mean, a woman who is 35, 37, 40, she is going to have a sex drive like there's no tomorrow. Who the hell cares? Women attempting to thirst trap like this, especially in middle age, will often be looked down upon as cheap or otherwise unbecoming. Very cheap. When a woman hits the wall, she begins to develop a superpower known as invisibility. Invisibility. <laughs> As a means to cope, <laughs> she'll often display more flesh than ever, in an attempt to remain noticeable. Facts. If you're one of the oldest ladies on the playground, uh. looking to elicit sexual validation through social media, it might be time to reappraise your oh, life choices Jesus. before it's too late. Are you a little desperate there, Grandma? Oh. The wall doesn't exist for women. It just doesn't. <laughs> I um, met my husband when I was 32 years old and we got married three weeks before I turned 36. I'm gonna guess that you thought I was still in my 20s. <laughs> it, it's adorable that you guys think 30s old. By claiming that the wall doesn't exist, she's saying that women never reach a point where their sexual market value decreases. Oh my god, you're so stupid. Perhaps the best lesson that can be learned from any Manosphere content is to not live in denial but to instead face one's reality head on. It's a basic truth in this space that men are expendable and women are perishable. No! This is why the phrase, a beautiful woman dies twice, is well known. And while 30's not old, it's typically the age where a woman's first death begins. He's out of line, but he's right. Like I legit do not know any women that struggle with getting male attention. And this is the problem, they conflate male attention with actual like relationship material you got all that you can get the attention up until you're like 50 60 by men that are like 70 80 and they're still just pumping you and dumping you and using you women can't see the difference between a man giving them attention and actually wanting a relationship from them have i ever had a guma no i don't know what that is <laughs> whatsoever what our big struggle is is finding men worth keeping around because you're all like so entitled nonsense it's really wow. pathetic that you guys keep trying to scare young women into believing in bullshit like this because guess what? They're listening to us, not you. Not a great plan. Because what you're doing isn't working. Mm. Your projection is showing. Shut up! When a woman hits the wall, it means that she's reached the point in her life where not only is her physical appearance starting to deteriorate, but her fertility window is beginning to close. Eggs, 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 bum, bum. Medically risky, first pregnancy begins at 35. And it's a fact that most men don't want to build a new boat with old wood. <laughs> After all, a post-wall woman is a biological dead end. She can't provide children and represents the termination of a man's genetic line. Mother Nature has flicked mm. the switch and turned off the lights. I would say at around the age of 45? Bruh. I started noticing that the way I was perceived was slightly different than what I had become used to. And then I would put photos of myself in bikinis. All of a sudden I started getting uh, the influx of, are you a little desperate there, Grandma? Uh. <laughs> Mature, advanced, middle-aged. Let's just say it, I am getting older. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> this is Polina Poriskova. Wow, this is the sickness in the West right here. Look, it's for money. Look, they're selling products. All you need to know is that they're preying on women's insecurity after brainwashing, to, brainwashing them going down a path where they're gonna end up regretting not having a family. So they prey on this emotional black hole of making the wrong decision by selling them products, man. This is why I, I tell you that most people are victims today. They have the game locked down tight. Corporations know exactly what they're doing, who they're selling to, what their customers respond to, and how to take advantage. They have nerds in a room thinking of ways to prey on everybody's insecurities. What's the easiest insecurity to attack for a woman? Beauty. Age. They keep saying, it's just, age is just a number. <sighs> 45 is the new 25. It's projecting. 
It's coping. Your time's up. You went down a path of strong boss babe, and now you're alone collecting cats. But hold on, hold on. Society's not done with you yet. We still can use you and suck up the little bit of financial gain we have left from you. Here you go. Put on this serum. Put on this cream. Use this product, 45-year-old boss babe. It's not over for you just yet. Trust me if you buy this. Unbelievable. Montana, thanks for the fiber. A lot of older women are a bunch of P... A bunch of P's. Files. Can't say that whole, wor whole word here on YouTube these days. They've been... Oh, geez. I can't read that on here, bro. <laughs> can't read that comment on here. <laughs> This is Polina Poriskova, one of the top supermodels of the 1980s. She had such high sexual market value that she was the inspiration behind several pop songs and appeared in over 30 TV shows and movies yeah. combined. She even married Rick Ocasek, a rock and roll hall of famer. Uh, how about you cover up and spare us the look of your poor aging body? I was sort of getting relinquished Oof. to the invisible. And this was super high value woman. And her life was changing at 45. By the way, I don't know how old she is now, but for her age, she looks tremendous. She's obviously genetically gifted, and yet it still happens to her. What chances do average girls have if you have a super genetically blessed model? Women category. Invisibility. It dawned on me that when you walk down the street, when you're a Sheesh. younger woman, it's like every man passes you and goes, is she f***able? Now you can most definitely <laughs> walk down the street without having anybody bounce anything off of you. Like people will yeah. literally just walk into you. <laughs> and you think, hold on a second. I am actually a far more interesting person than I've ever been. Aww. And this is where you don't want to see me anymore because I've aged out of being physically appealing to you. Not just that you're not physically appealing anymore, but... Your youth is tied to your reproductive ability too. Um, you're out of eggs. We were just made this way by nature. We're supposed to secure our seed with the most fertile women. Fertile and 45 don't go together. It is what it is. Just like you want a big, strong man, we want a young, beautiful, fertile woman. Instant sexual attraction is always going to be based primarily on the way you look. Oh man, she is so hot. So she's now in the same position as the bottom 80% of men who are sexually invisible to women. Facts! But to make a wider point, she's not really invisible. Not really, no. Because if she mm. was hurt or in danger, society will still do far more to help than a man in the same position. Also, she's never really alone, like a, a like the bottom 80% of men, some of them that have true loneliness, like the opposite gender doesn't want to have sex with you at all. There's plenty of dudes that would have sex with that woman, gladly. It's just they won't commit. That's the difference. See, when she was young, men were commit, willing to commit left and right. High quality men wanted to lock that down, but she's just having fun. And I'm not trying to settle down right now. I'm just, exp I'm exploring. I'm discovering myself. So she missed out on getting locked down. Well, this one did get locked down or I don't know what happened. She got divorced. I don't know why she's doing this little interview. But for the average woman, she wastes away those precious 20s when men are trying to commit to lock her down by screwing around until they're 30 something, then they wake up and they realize, oh my God, I'm turning invisible. But she will still, even in her 30s, have plenty of options. They just won't be high quality anymore. The pool of men that are interested in her starts to lower in quality dramatically. Like simpy dudes, guys with no experience with women, incel -y vibes, super nerds, the Reddit mods you see, you know, Discord mod type body. Looking dudes that feel like they're the luckiest man in the world because she gave him a chance at 34. Yeah, those aren't the guys she wants though. But then she'll settle for and get married to and get taken care of the rest of her life. Male loneliness is a completely different thing. Not a single woman wants to even touch you. Inconceivable! So she's not invisible. It's just that she's not the center of attention anymore, which for a former top supermodel would be quite a reality check. I loved my husband for 35 years. The last three of which we were separated. We were there for each other uh, in those kind of physical ways that we had become uh, habituated to. It's just no longer was a marriage. We had been together for my entire life since I was 19. Damn. And suddenly he seemed not to find me attractive anymore. This is always a danger if all a woman brings to the table is physical beauty. Attraction is multidimensional and a woman who's the overall package is more likely to win long term 
when it comes to relationship satisfaction. Deal with it, you babies! The reason men remain attracted to their wives, even when they grow old, is the same reason the wives remain attracted to their old husbands. Successful marriages aren't solely based on who looks the most attractive, or who has the most social power. Yes, exactly, exactly. It's based on physical attraction to the person, and everything else the person comes with. In other words, their perceived utility. I started feeling like I was a coffee table, something you put shit on and bump into in the middle of the night, but pay no more attention to than that. It made me feel worthless as a woman. No way! I thought I was going to stay with his men for the rest of my life. We had said in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. But then it was neither, it was nor better nor worse. He just stopped seeing me. So how can a married woman mitigate the effects of hitting the wall and better ensure her husband's interest remains firmly in place? I have no idea. Here are what I personally view as the five most important. First, would be to remain loyal. Most men will have a sense of loyalty for a woman if she's proven herself to be trustworthy. Yes! Second, would be to indulge in bedroom fun, frequently and enthusiastically. Freaky diggy business. If a man can have bedroom fun easier, and more frequently outside the marriage, then he's much more likely to leave. Oh my god. Third, would be to avoid <laughs> modern effinism. Effinism is every bit the relationship ender, its ideology presents. We're toppling the patriarchy. Because modern effinism, and actual femininity, are like oil and water. And men of all ages appreciate femininity. Fourth, would be to maintain her personality. The problem with today's society, is many young women are not educated, on how to be a desirable woman, especially as they age. So uncivilized. Where's my lunch? Right here, last night's chili. Did I tell you how much I liked it last night? No. Then why are you serving this to me again? <laughs> they can become argumentative, difficult, and cold, as they grow older. Mm -hmm. As their physical beauty fades, all that's left is their inner ugliness. <laughs> Fifth, would be to avoid being overweight. Come on, get out of here. Oh my God. There's not much explanation <laughs> needed here, but being in good physical shape will help her to remain ahead of most other women. I started changing the rules on what our marriage was supposed to be. What? Uh, and then he go. started changing his rules too. Oh, well, if you're going to be demanding and a bitch, well, then I'm not going to touch you. Huh, so we got the entire explanation there. She got old. She got insecure. She started being demanding and a in her words so then he started withdrawing wow look at that self-sabotaging a relationship now we know how it started great Aww. and i thought one brilliant last idea what if i give him the ultimatum before i'm finished what when i still love him when i still want to make this work that might snap him out of it what and i said you know I'm really unhappy, and you don't seem to want to work on anything, and so I what think maybe we should be heading towards separation, maybe divorce. He just looked at me really coldly and said, uh, well, <laughs> seems like your mind's made up, so whatever. Oh, what Have a it. player. Because she was unhappy, she changed the rules of the marriage in what is a typical bait and switch. This is likely to be the main reason her marriage ended. <laughs> I'd say there's a high probability. There are two notable things at play here that all men should know about. First, there's Brifo's law. This maintains that the female, not the male, determines all the conditions of the animal family. Are you serious? Where the female can derive no benefit from association with the male, no such association takes place. Yep. Wow. In this case, she claims her marriage was neither better nor worse, but her husband seemed to no longer find her attractive. But mm -hmm. then it was neither, it was nor better nor worse he just stopped seeing me as a result she decided that the costs in the marriage exceeded the benefits so she changed the rules i started changing the rules on what our marriage was supposed to be and because he never agreed to her new rules her husband was in negative utility which led to her asking for a divorce i think maybe we should be heading towards separation maybe divorce the second thing all men should know about is the action known as dread this is an attempt to achieve greater emotional control over a relationship by threatening to end it, or publicly violating its boundaries. Do exactly as I say. A common female version of dread, is the divorce threat, which often comes in the form of an ultimatum. If you don't do what I want, I'll end the marriage. Shocked. Shocked. We're all shocked. Ultimatums like this are manipulative. It's a major sign, that a person is controlling, and far less concerned about your personal welfare, than their own. It's an available pool of men, that are interested in a 50, 60 year old woman. 
is a muddy puddle. You're goddamn right. Mm -hmm. The ones that are out on the market now are on the market for a reason. And the fact that they would really mm. rather date a woman 20 years younger. Not that many guys that are smart enough and brave enough to date women their age. Oh, there's the shame. You're not smart enough and brave enough. You're a weak little man. There it is. There it is. We are waiting for it to come out. Waiting. Dude, it's, uh, it's sick. It's sick how easily you can read this. Every single one. Every single one goes through this. This chapter has the epiphany, then shames. She tries to shame. They all try to shame a man into dating them. How pathetic. You're not man enough. You're not brave. You coward. You just want a dumb young woman. Every single one. Story's always the same. You read this like a dumb book. <laughs> She's using shaming tactics by saying that men are neither smart nor brave enough to date women their own wow. age. Shocking. Who could have seen this coming? I swear she's the first to ever say this. No, for really. This is groundbreaking stuff, guys. But she's also blame shifting and playing the victim. After all, she's the one who's put herself in this situation by changing the rules within the marriage and then initiating the divorce. And this type of criticism of the male gaze always comes from modern women who've hit the wall hard and have realized that they're now in competition with younger women. <laughs> And this is why women every generation have less and less girl game because they're always in competition with one another. These old 45 year olds are not going to tell young women that they're competing against, that their men are being stolen by, how to get the men they're competing for. This is why women have absolutely zero game in how to keep a man in a relationship. All they know is how to get a man's attention, which requires absolutely no skill whatsoever. This is why most women can't cook today, can't clean today, are super messy, super combative, super masculine. They basically have been turned into dudes and they derive their value from what men used to do, utility. Well, I have a job, I make money, I'm educated, I do that. None of which matters to a man in a relationship because he already has all those things. He wants something different, something he can't get for himself. And I don't know how to have needs and not scare people off. Oh my God! I don't know how to balance that yet. I would Jesus write Christ. something about being, you know, 52 or 53 and looking like this, and people would comment with, well, big f deal, JLo is a lot better looking than you, and she's only. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Only like two years younger. <gasps> when I thought about it, all the actresses and singers and the personalities around my age all looked better than me and they all looked... Ah, oh, the pain. <laughs> the pain. Oh. Younger than me because they've had some work done. I don't oh. give a shit. Obviously, a lot of celebrities have a helping hand from surgery, Botox and fillers. But lifestyle is also a contributing factor to how well a person physically ages. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. The modern woman's love of excessive drinking, poor diet, and partying are all contributing factors. But the main point here is that if a former top supermodel... Yeah, it's, it's wild. We have a former top supermodel stripping down on the chair complaining about men not being man enough and brave enough to handle her old ass. Instead of her making a video on the realities of aging for women. And women would listen because this is a former, not even just a supermodel, a top supermodel who actually aged well too. She actually, for her age, aged really well. Because there are 50, there are 50 year olds that look, Jesus Christ, burn my eyes off. Women would listen to her. If she just got on here and said, hey, here's the reality. You need to find you a, a valuable man, high value, whatever it is. Listen, while you're young and all the men want to put a ring on it, don't wait until you're 35, barren womb, all this stuff. Men don't care about all these things. That party life is aging you. You're going to look 10 year older, all the uh, sleepless nights, the drug induced parties, all this stuff got to stop. Stop drinking, stop smoking, stop doing, start taking care of yourself. Start demanding things of men. Stop giving away your body for free. Stop getting passed around. Stop throwing away your vow. Nope, nothing, bro. It's you're not brave enough. You're not man enough to date me. Unreal. I changed the rules of my marriage. Model can age out of the dating process 
and hit the wall hard, then it'll happen to every modern woman who relies mostly on her physical appearance. As much as I embrace this body and as much as I'm proud of who I am, I'm also... What the hell is happening here? Broken. One thing I notice about aging is people start to treat you so differently. Obviously, yeah. When I was younger, people would be nicer to me. Like, they would go out of their way to talk to me, smile at me, hold doors open. But as I've gotten older, what I'm noticing is that people, they don't do that. <laughs> it's almost like you become slowly more and more invisible. Invisibility. I feel like the only people that really see me are other middle-aged women, you know? It's like we give each other this knowing look. <laughs> She's obviously hit the wall, and is perceptive enough to recognize the decay of her sexual appeal. She's observed that people are not as nice to her, as they used to be, and that she's becoming invisible. This is a particular problem for women, who tie their self-esteem, self-worth and identity to their beauty. Because the currency of beauty, is a fleeting one. The harsh reality, is that a woman might wake up one day, hit the wall, and the adoration is gone. And I saw a video about how Karens are women who used to have pretty privilege. The wall doesn't exist for women. It just doesn't. And suddenly, he seemed not to find me attractive anymore. I can totally see that being a thing because you get this privilege that people treat you nice and just give you extra attention that maybe other people don't receive. And then whenever that starts to slowly fade away and then completely stop, it's like, if you aren't aware of what's happening, you feel like something's wrong with everybody else. What the freak is wrong? Why is everybody so rude and everybody so dismissive? Why isn't everybody bending over backwards for me? Well, that's because we were given privilege just based on something as shallow as the way we look. And mm. so we... But when she was young, was enjoying it. Now it's shallow. Wasn't shallow when doors were being opened, where men were pro propositioning her with flights, with boats, with expensive dinners, just offering her the world. No, it wasn't shallow. Then it was amazing. It was empowering. Yes, strong boss babe. We're queens. We rule the world. The peace leave makes the world go round. So amazing. And then they get older and you're shallow. You're in, you're not man enough. You're insecure. You're a predator. You can't handle me now that I've been pumped and dumped by half the block. I'm the town bicycle. I have experience. We want new bikes. We want them to not squeak. We want them to not fall apart when we ride them. We thought that was like how the world was, but it's not. A lot of people don't live in a reality that is like that. Welcome to the real world. She's a cautionary tale, similar to a person who's in possession of an expired lottery ticket or a glass of warm champagne. If a woman hasn't gotten older and become less attractive, then this should be a warning to use her youth and beauty to secure a high-quality man while she still can. Because wasting her pretty privilege on sexually valuable men who'll simply smash and dash will rarely bear fruit. On the other hand, if a woman's hit the wall without landing a high-quality man, then this should come as a signal to abandon her sense of entitlement to Prince Charming and accept more realistic options. Mm -hmm. Because the alternative might mean a life of being single and lonely up until the day she shuffles off this mortal coil. Game over, yeah! mm -hmm. <laughs> I practice hypergamy! <laughs> That's what you get for practicing hypergamy. <laughs> uh, they'll never learn, boys. How could you? Young, dumb, and taking advantage of your own looks to the detriment of your long-term benefit. What's new?